So basically the game goes like this. These are 99 pennies, 100 pennies in total. So imagine each one is a percent. You got the 1% controlling the 99%, right? So I can show you a pyramid being built where the 1% is on top. And you can see that in the reality that we live in, the majority of the wealth is controlled by very few. So we call them the 1% for this illustration. But the thing is, the only way that this works is if the 99%, the vast majority, there's no reason this can control this or this should control this. The only reason this can control this is if these pennies don't think that they're as valuable as that penny. One of the ways they do that is by doing something like this. They have these pennies, instead of focus on this one, they focus on this special penny that did this, that, and the other, and that is pretty much deified and worshiped and all of this stuff. When, if you actually dig into what's actually inside and what this penny is, this penny even says it's just like the rest of you. And what that does is lower the pedestal that this guy is on or this woman is on and puts us all on the same equal plane. We're all on the same plane. So what happens then, and what I'm trying to get people to realize is their own value. Their value is the same as this penny. Your value is the same as this penny. There's no reason why 1% should control 99% in a negative way, in a controlling fashion. The reality that we live in is that, where they're controlling the resources, power, money, and everything, and subjugating us to things that they would not want to experience with their own selves and for their children. So why are we allowing them to do this? It's because of our own value. So part of that thing is realizing your own value. You have the same amount of value as this. Each one of these pennies has the same amount of value as the 1%. And it takes the unity for us to realize that. And then we are the majority. This is America. This is an America. But the game that they play on us is to do this. They get us separated. Now, they're still over here, still controlling everything. But they get us separated into all of our little factions, right? All our little factions. So these pennies, these pennies, these pennies, these pennies, these pennies. All of these groups, and it even gets, this is just a simple representation, but it even gets worse than this. So you got all of these pennies, and what are we doing? We're fighting each other. We're doing this. We're being distracted. And all of this is happening while these people are still running the thing. They don't want us to unite because then we do like this guy. We stand up, and we realize instead of all of the lions fighting each other, the lions come together. And we form Voltron. We're stronger together than we are apart. And some of you old school people may remember Voltron. But that's just an example of us coming together and uniting as one and taking care of this 1% that has no reason at all, <laughs> no reason at all being in the position they are in treating us the way they are so it's time for us to unite that's why the one thing that they don't want is unity they rather keep us divided and fighting over each other because that keeps them in a safe spot when i say everybody gets taken off a pedestal past present future we're all the same and we all deserve equal treatment and we all deserve freedom and the right to express ourselves and live a good positive healthy life and it's time for us to take over and it doesn't have to be a violent takeover it can be if they want to just be by themselves because think about it this one percent cannot exist without us we're the ones doing the work we're the ones supporting this system this system is made up of us when we realize that and start working for ourselves and taking back ownership then the system is ours to begin with and we can correct it and we can control it instead of letting someone else do it for us. The election process is us putting stuff in ballots and trying to just elect someone else or just another figurehead that still is working for the 1%. We don't need that anymore. We need people that represent the people. So part of what I'm attempting to do is, in this election, take the voices of the people and just represent that, not as someone that is 1% but someone that is 99% and to bring that inside of the, the conversation pretty much. Because these people are not represented. These people are only looking out for their own self-interest, their own best interest. So what I would like to do is take the group consciousness of what needs to happen, present those to the people that make the decisions.